All right, the question 35 is a standard deviation question. It says each of these data sets has a mean of 20, which means they all have the same average. Order the sets from greatest standard deviation to least standard deviation. So the greatest, the greatest standard deviation means they're more spread out. The least standard deviation means they're less spread out. The one that I know for sure is set 2 is going to be the least standard deviation because it doesn't vary at all. The standard deviation is going to probably be 0, so 0x zero equals 0. This one, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22, these are all increasing by 1. And 16, 18, 20, 21, 25, these are all kind of increasing by 1 or 2 or more. So I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the greatest standard deviation. Um, and this is going to be kind of in the middle, and this is going to be the least standard deviation. But what I'm going to do for sure is I'm just going to throw them into stat, edit, I'm going to put them in my one variable statistics, because, you know, on this test it doesn't hurt to be too sure about everything. And then I'm just going to throw these numbers in here. And I threw the first set in here. I'm going to go stat, and calculate one variable statistics down to calculate. I'm going to find out what my standard deviation is. Standard deviation over here is 1.41. Then I'm going to go back to stat. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to put the other numbers in. I'll do the 20s just because. 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. And I'm going to go stat, calc, one variable statistics. Find out what the standard deviation of that is, which is zero. It says right there. So I was right. And then I'm going to go to stat, edit, and I'm going to put the third set of number. And I have those in. So I'm going to go to stat, calc, one variable statistics, and I'm going to see what the standard deviation is here. Standard deviation is 3.03. .03. So the standard deviation equals 3.03. .03. So here's greatest, second, and least. So it should be set. 3, set 1, and set 2. And on the SOL, if it's not in this order perfectly, then it won't count it correct.